By presenting the first family who will be part of the trial in Gothenburg, Volvo Cars is now taking the next step in the Drive Me program and onto the road of unsupervised, autonomous driving cars. For Volvo, developing autonomous driving is about understanding people's needs and their expectations. It's about putting people at the center, not the technology. My first reaction when I found out, I was very happy. I think a self-driving car would add uh, especially one thing to my life, and that's time. I think the friends and family maybe think that, do you know this is safe? Especially my mom, I can say that she will be afraid of it, and so don't, don't do this. My name is Mila, and I'm 13 years old. And in my free time, I love to do gymnastics. I also do handball, and on the summers, I sail. My name is uh, Philippa. I'm 16 years old. In my free time, I play handball and I'll be with friends and we listen to music together or we just hang out. If our car today was self-driving, I could have them help me with my homework if I'm gonna do that in the car. My dad is our handball coach. It's interesting to have him there because he, he plays an important role as team leader. Letting go of the control is something that uh, it would be hard for me the first couple of times. But on the other hand, I, I love technology and uh, so I'm pretty sure Volvo doesn't let one of these cars on the road if it, if it wasn't safe. Now when the, it actually comes self-driving cars and it's possible to build self-driving cars, I think it's very cool and that the future is actually happening now. Drive Me is about learning from people to make cars safe and legal in their introduction on the market. It's about collecting real data from real people on real roads.